Okay, everybody, and welcome back to Learn with Minecraft Education. Today, we're going to be looking at creating custom items that you can use in Minecraft Education uh, using the Tinker website and some of the tools that are built into that website. So let's go ahead and type in Tinker Minecraft. Um, and we'll click on this first link here, tinker.com forward slash Minecraft. Now, you will need to uh, log in and create an account for Tinker for this to work. Uh, it doesn't let you download. It lets you, it lets you uh, edit items, but it won't let you download, in my experience, unless you are a member. Uh, but you can sign up for free. You can sign your students up for free as well. Um, and when you've done that, go over to items here. And uh, we're going to create Minecraft resources, like so. Create item. We want to make sure Windows 10 forward slash pocket edition is selected. Uh, Minecraft education is, is pretty much uh, the Windows 10 edition. Uh, so anything that works for that uh, will work for us too. Uh, let's scroll down today to the slime ball. And uh, I've never done this before, but I'm going to have a crack at um, making a Pokeball uh, on Minecraft Education. So uh, let's start off with this black outline. And it's, base it's just a basic paint interface here. One more white square here. There we go. OK, looks like a Pokeball to me. So when you're done, top left here click the save and download button. So we want to install this to Minecraft. So we just click download now. Comes up as a add-on file in the bottom left here. Click that. Head over to Minecraft Education. Import started. Successfully imported slime ball. And there's a picture of my Pokeball there. So going, I am going to create new. I will put it into creative and go to a flat world. Not, not essential, but helps. Um, and we'll go to, oh, let's go to behavior packs. No, let's go to resource packs because that's where it is. Right, slime ball. Um, select that, activate, and load up your world. Now, when you load up your world, all you've got to do is uh, go to your inventory and search for the slime ball, and it will appear. Now, you remember you've edited a item that's already there, so it will behave in the way the original item would have behaved. OK, so one of my other add-ons I made earlier to test this out, I took um, some beef and just wrote all over it. I wrote um, Learn with Minecraft Education on it. And when I right-clicked it, um, I started eating it, uh, which is fine. Um, and the slime ball will be kind of the same. So here's my slime ball. I don't know what you can do with the slime ball, uh, but I'm going to drop it. And uh, you can see I've got my Pokeball. Uh, the other thing you can do with these, which is quite cool, is... Uh, Item frame. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, pop an item frame here. And I can put my slime ball in it. So I've got kind of custom art that I can make there. Um, so yeah, really easy to do. Your students will definitely enjoy doing it. Um, drawing and creating and importing it into Minecraft is super easy. And uh, it works pretty flawlessly. Uh, so bring it in, try creating lots of different um, add-ons. You can activate as many on one world as you like, as long as it doesn't use the same, uh, the same original texture. So uh, if I made another one with a slime ball, it's not going to work at the same time, obviously. Uh, but there's loads of different uh, items you can edit and import. And just make sure, if you want uh, to go back and have everything else as the same, make sure you deactivate those uh, add-ons. Uh, but if you start a new world, they'll be, they won't be activated by default anyway. So it's absolutely fine. Now, in the uh, sticking to the theme of add-ons, I'm going to be looking at uh, some different animal add-ons. So we did um, furniture add-ons a couple of weeks ago, which is quite popular. So we'll look at some animal add-ons as well. And um, as well, sticking with Tinker, we need to do some more Tinker um, tutorials as well. So we'll we'll go ahead and look at those. Uh, the, the Tinker stuff, by the way, if I just press C and click down here. Uh, we've got loads of cool Tinker stuff uh, that pops up um, over here. So if you want to go through some of these tutorials and things with your students, um, Tinker, like I said previously, is uh, really well integrated into Minecraft Education. Um, so do press C, go into that, and take a look at some of those. You don't need to go through the website, and you don't need to sign up uh, to do it. Uh, if you do sign up to the Tinker website, use your um, Office 365 tenant 
or with whatever your school uses, uh, the same one that you use for Minecraft education, uh, just to simplify things. But uh, that's it from me today. I'll be back uh, next week, so make sure you like and subscribe to see upcoming videos, and um, I'll see you all next time. Oh,